you can't dribble or finish with your weak hand, you have a problem. If you want to be a great player, you just can't have a weak hand. And chances are, if you're watching this, you probably could use some work on it. So here's some drills that you can do that will take away your weak hand and allow you to feel confident finishing and dribbling in games. So right here, we're gonna go with one-handed Mikeins, but we're gonna make this really difficult. I can only use my off hands here. I'm basically going back and forth, mixing up what those finishes look like, really trying to challenge myself with the type of spin that I've got to put on that ball. I should be missing some if I'm really challenging myself, only able to use that offhand. Right here, we're gonna go with no gather finishes where I'm just using my off hands here. All that, that means is that when I go up for my layup, I can't bring that right hand to pick the ball up. So I can start from wherever, kind of freestyling. Can't bring that right hand to it. I can mess around with different pickups if I want to. Ooh. Oh. Now we're gonna go with some offhand floaters. Normally you're shooting floaters with your strong hand, but getting good at having the touch to be able to use your offhand is gonna make the layups that you finish with that offhand much easier. Can work it off two feet, get some more of a runner off of one if I want to. If you find that easy, you can even back up the distance a little bit. Right here we're gonna go with the turn dribble control series and it's four different dribbles strung together. Now if it's really hard for you to do one of these, it's okay if you only do the three that you can do. Once you get comfortable, you can start to add it. If you only do two, do those two until you get comfortable and then start to add in that third one. But all that it is is a turn dribble. So instead of a normal dribble, I'm turning the ball like that. And then my next dribble after that is gonna be right to that pull through, okay? Then it's gonna be pull through that opposite and then it's gonna be pull behind. But now I'm gonna string all of them together. So right here we go with an offhand skip series to work some control again. So we're gonna start off just skipping, but then being the ball back and forth with that left hand. So on every skip, I'm getting that ball across my body. Now I'm doing the same thing, but when I bring it back, I'm pulling between that left leg. So we're gonna cross, back. Now I'm gonna go with a full freestyle, but it's only with that offhand, so I can mix up the moves I use, the pace that I do, the direction that I'm going, but I'm really trying to challenge myself, be creative and have fun with this. If you do these drills and really challenge yourself, you're gonna see a crazy improvement in that weekend. You're gonna feel way more confident in games. Whether it's finishing at the rim, handling the basketball, this is gonna make you better. And if you guys are interested in more work to improve your ball handling, check out Elite Ball Handling 2.0, my full program, a ton of stuff in there that's gonna help you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also click below to get my free Primer Scorer workout. I appreciate you guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon, peace.